Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 7 of Undead Unlux. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. I hope these kids don't die. I don't want them to die. I mean, they kill! Once again, we draw the line at kids! And is it just you four? This is a week ago? God damn. All supplies. Yeah, but eventually she turned into one, too. Figures that was her. And the sunflowers, damn. Let me do that real quick.
It's not in here. Hmm. I mean, it's just a little room. <laughs> But the good thing is, and they don't know, she got married. So, you know, yay. Oh. I mean, wouldn't it be better for one of y'all to just go up, maybe just do a little quick look-see, and then come back down? <laughs> I mean, because he has it. There you go. See? Smart. Oh, damn. <laughs> Thank God. Oh. It does make you wonder if they could like have any chance of turning back into a human, but you know, once you're a zombie, then <laughs> Oh. Oh. 
Oh god. <laughs> She about to make the ultimate sacrifice. And you still telling me that didn't stop him? But what about him? <laughs> Even though he can take care of himself. Yeah. supposed to do is either kill or be killed. I don't want y'all to die, so kill it. Doing it sounds like it's not. Oh my god! I'm like for a moment, I'm like, okay.
Well, we know that's not good. Jesus Christ, everybody dying now. <laughs> We're all gonna be turned into zombies. It's okay, you can order more, but I get it. This is why you're supposed to have like endless supplies of whatever you need. <laughs> Be like Uryu. Uryu had like <laughs> Uryu had like a second pair of colors. God. You're stepping away! Even though we know we might die one day.
Oh. <laughs> You were done like that. I, I, you know what? That's not even a bad cliffhanger. You know, honestly, you, the last couple of weeks with this show, their cliffhangers have been on point. Not to the point where they piss me off, but it's like, okay, yeah, we can end like this. I'm okay with ending right here and such. Not abrupt and then wait like some other shows. Insert those names, but you know, we're not going to do that right now. Um, I love the fact that the teacher, you know, we got to see her final moments before she was turned into a zombie. And they got to have one little moment with her, even though she is a zombie now. But they got to have that cute little reunion. Like, that almost made me really, truly, what the hell does that say? Facebook. Even though I don't do Facebook like that. Um, almost wanted me to tear up because it was just so cute. And it's just like, th that's what they all needed because... When everything is at, it's solved and done at the end of the day with this situation, like, they're not going to have her anymore. And it, it does make me wonder for these four kids what is going to happen to them going into next week's episode and such because I'm a little scared. It's just like, are they going to be placed under protection? Are they going to go into another orphanage and stuff and have to start all over again? There's a lot that they really could do with them. But, I mean, if it was my thing, yeah, definitely put them under protection. I'm just saying. <laughs> we draw the line of kids. I mean, we only have one kid die or turn into a zombie, and we saw him last week going on to this week. But, yeah. Uh -oh. Whoever the that's for, like, okay, let me go back real quick. Hold up. It, it's not Shen, the other one. The, it has to be that one dude who's voiced by Bakugo. Um, let's see. That has to be someone completely different that we haven't met yet. Because what, you're, what I'm looking at now, where it has the on the preview where it says, The young man trembles in fear with a smile on his face. The whole background is like red. Like, fiery hot red. There is a tube, so I'm guessing that has to be, like, a tower-esque or something. The sun shining, and someone with, like, you know, almost similar to Yu-Gi-Oh-esque hair. <laughs> Yami Yu-Gi hair. But I don't think it's the Bakugo kid. I mean, it would be interesting to see him pop up in this next episode. But I don't think it's him. It would be really too easy on that. So I feel like he's not going to be... His episode focus might not come into, like, episode 12, maybe. I don't fucking know, because, like, I haven't read the series. And that's just, just a fucking guess, regardless. But, I mean, this was interesting. Even with what all had happened, I did not think that our zombie bride would have sacrificed herself. I was thinking, like, oh, they're going to find a way to get her back to normal, and she will be able to be with the kids again. But as I said, you know, hey let's be a little realistic, is once you turn into a zombie, there is no other way you're getting turned back into a regular human. Like, once you're dead, you're dead. There's no freaking way you're coming back in any shape or form. Even though I, in my mind, I'm like, nah, they're gonna find something. But in the end, she was a sacrifice. But it was a noble sacrifice because she did it for the kids. And she, at the end of the day, all she, she was thinking about was the kids and not herself. And with her having finalized her or realizing her dream of becoming a bride and such, which was her number one, there were no other dreams that she had. And so it was like, okay, let me make this noble sacrifice for these children so that they can have their dreams also fulfilled. Yeah. Damn good episode. But other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episode 7 of Undead Unluck. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. I join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next... Mm, well, because since... Mm, we'll say... For, no. We'll say Saturday. But I will say this because next week is Thanksgiving and such. It's going to be a little awkward with everything coming out. Um, normally with Hulu, I know this comes out later on, later on in the night, as I said in the previous, like, I think, second week for this show. Um, I think it's kind of really out around, like, midnight, maybe one o'clock. 
if it is out around midnight, one o'clock, or usually by the time, because like there was, I think it was last week I was up and it was out and I was like, oh, I'll watch it and stuff. But I think it's really more of Saturdays because who knows, but I don't fucking know. So you'll either see me maybe midnight or you'll just see me Saturday morning and stuff or afternoon, whatever, whenever the hell I can get it out. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.